Okay, so we are staying in a motel in Taiwan, which is a lot nicer than a hotel. The really funny thing about Asia is that they know that people have sex, and they know that people cheat sometimes. So what they've done is they've created these garages that are very private. This is where you can bring your wife here, or your girlfriend, but it's more set up for like bringing your girlfriend or a whore or somewhere. So the really interesting thing is these rooms are nice. I mean, really nice, and they're not that expensive. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Not, like, not much. But come take a look inside. So you put your car inside here, so your wife doesn't see. Then you close the garage door. So you have some privacy. Then you go inside. I've been in a lot of hotel rooms all around the world. This is by far the eighth largest and the most interesting I've ever seen. I've sat on some sets that were supposed to be hotel rooms that weren't this crazy. So, and this is actually really nice. It's cool in here. It's fair to this. this is a pool. This is a private pool. Place to lay out. More place to lay It's supposed to look like ballet. It's actually really nice. This is the bedroom. This is one of the nicest bedrooms I've ever seen in a hotel, ever. And it, it's kind of over the top, but it's really not that tacky. It's actually kind of fun. Then we come in here to the bathroom, which is as big as most hotel rooms. And it's actually really modern and really nice. A lot of amenities. It smells good in here. Come take a look at this. A big jacuzzi tub. Like, I have a jacuzzi at home, and it's not as big as, it's, it's about the same size as this. It's a TV, and an enormous shower area. Sort of a skylight up here. This is an enormous hotel room. Big toilet area. And then there's more. So like I said, this hotel room is sort of for having sex. So they have this whole room with mirrors and a sex chair, which I had only heard about. But this chair is like built to have sex in. <laughs> which is kind of crazy also. But anyway, this is quite a place. Oh, and the price um, was about $150 a night, which is less than an average hotel room in the United States. Not too bad. Tomorrow night we're staying in the presidential suite, so we'll see how that is. Oh, there's a huge screen TV. <laughs> I'm hot and sweaty. I think I'm ready for a shower, another beer, and uh, swim.